it's Pam with Organizer AZ 911 and welcome to another weight loss vlog. In this video I thought it'd be fun to take a little field trip and actually we're going to go to our local Walmart store where we're going to meet my trainer Christy and she's going to share with us some tips and strategies to help our grocery trip become more health conscious, uh, to make the better choices, and even some warning tips of things we should avoid anytime we go shopping for groceries. We are here with my amazing trainer Christy and she is going to tell us what we should look for or maybe what we should avoid in the different departments around Walmart. Anything fresh that you can buy and make yourself is the best. I just picked this up just to look at it. I've never seen it before. Um, it is a ready-to-go chef salad. As I looked at the back, though, it says 110 calories. But if you read this carefully, this box is four and a half servings of salad. Whoa. So now you're at about 500 calories for this box. Oh, my which gosh. I would eat this whole box easy. Yes. You think you're doing great. And if you eat this whole box, you're at over 500 calories. It's mostly the dressing. The dressing is the killer for pretty much every salad, especially when you go out, because it is always full-blown, non-light dressing. And this wow. would have attempts for over about 40 grams of fat. Oh my gosh. Because of the salad dressing. And you're thinking you're doing well. Right. So, even in the produce department, you really need to watch and look the labels. So be careful with that. Are there certain fruits that are better to seek out than others? Do you use sugars or whatever? Yes and no. If you're just starting, even eating fruit is way better than eating junk and eating candy, cookies, chips, any of that. It's a much better option. Yes, there are some fruits that are way higher in sugar, but at least they're natural sugar. But they still have calories, a lot of calories because of the sugar. But they have fiber, so it's a trade-off. So enjoy it, but don't overdo it either. Some vegetables have higher carbohydrates than others, but still way better choice than junk. Having anything that is real food is always going to be a much better choice from the produce department, not from a can, and not in a bag, from the freezer that has sauce already on it, which <laughs> is what my kids oh, would no like. Oh, no sauce. Right. <laughs> Takes work, but it's worth it. We'll head off to the meat department I'll with my salad. Dressing is about 800 calories. What? 800. Because one serving is 180 calories, and there's four Whoa. in here. So you're, oh, sorry, seven something. But what still, kind of is that? A Caesar. <gasps> Do My not eat Caesar head. dressing ever, people. There is no, <laughs> it's the worst salad ever. That's 800 calories. And it's the cheese, the croutons, and the, and the dressing. dressing. All the people that always tell me, I don't know why I can't lose weight. I eat healthy. I eat a salad when I go out. Well, you just ate your Eight. whole day's worth of fat and crap in this. Over a thousand calories, or a thousand milligrams of sodium <gasps> from a salad. Yeah, they're all like that. Don't eat that. Okay, all right, let's head out. All right. We yeah, really yeah. should go to the salad dressing aisle. Can we do barbecue sauce too? Yes. Because, they're, because okay, so this is what I end up using. I love this barbecue sauce. It Sugar free. Good. It's very good. For two ta a standard condiment size, be it barbecue sauce, salad dressing, anything like that, it's usually two tablespoons. It's the standard, so you can mm -hmm. kind of compare apples to apples. It only has 10 calories for two tablespoons. Oh. And it has two grams of carbs and zero sugars. Pam's got Sweet Baby Ray's, which, oh God. Two tablespoons is 70 calories. And 16 grams of sugar. Oh. If you also look the ingredients, the first one is high fructose corn syrup. That's what, this bottle is basically a bottle of flavored corn syrup. <laughs> also, these are really good. I've tried this 
orange ginger is delicious. I made grilled chicken with it and then put stir fried vegetables and poured a little over top because this, five calories, makes it like stir fry without all of the junk. Oh, what is this crap? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So this is a mayonnaise derivative, I guess you would want to call it. Yeah, it's... So, again, they're going to put all these things on here. Non-GMO, gluten-free, soy and canola-free. What does that mean? It just means that nothing was genetically modified. Gluten-free, well, no mayonnaise has gluten. <laughs> gluten is wheat. I mean, there's never gluten in mayonnaise. But they put these things on here to make you think that this is such a better option, which it is in terms of it's made from avocado oil instead of regular oil. But it's still, when you talk about calories, this has 100 calories per serving. So does Hellman's. Actually, Hellman's has less. 10 wow. grams of fat versus 12. And cholesterol is the same. Sodium is a little higher in the Hellman's. The fat is a better kind of fat for you, but it is still the same in terms of if you're trying to lose weight. This is still 100 calories, the same as that. Yes, this is a healthier choice, but this will not make you lose, shed any weight. So read your labels. That's the key to condiments. We're going to hit salad dressing. Okay. We're going to compare these two because I eat both of these, but of course they don't have the light. They're out of a lot of the stuff while they're doing this remodel. Because they, you know, I was going to show you the difference between, so Olive Garden makes a light, and I get it. It's really good. The calories in the regular Italian mm -hmm. are 80. The calories in the light are 30. It's got a lot of flavor to it. These are our favorite. Skinny Love Girl brand skinny girl makes dressings. a great salad dressing. If you are going to do a healthy, healthy salad dressing, you're going to make it on your own at home. You're going to use vinegar, olive oil, seasonings. Most people don't have time, want to do it, or know how to do it. So these will help you cut out a lot of unwanted fat and gross stuff from the dressings. Now this is honey mustard, which is slightly different yes. from that. It's just, but it was saying for two tablespoons, it's 110 calories. Yes. As opposed to 10. So you've just added 100 calories to your salad without even knowing it. And that's just for two that's tablespoons. That's for two tablespoons. Yes, and, and if I you, like so much more than yes, two tablespoons. Then you may have added <laughs> 200 calories. But you know how long it takes in the gym to get rid of 200 calories. Oh, you have taught me that one. And <laughs> you wouldn't have noticed the difference between that and that. You can eat healthy and still eat too much. Eating too many calories to sustain your body. I have liked in the um, produce department there is broccoli slaw. And then I put the poppy seed skinny girl. Yes. But I use half the bottle. But it's still only 40 calories on broccoli salt, which is 25 calories. And I'm full with a big bowl of it. Another thing. Oh. <laughs> 150 calories for two tablespoons. Now, you know if you're making a bowl of coleslaw for your family, you're going to use the whole bottle. <laughs> or half. At, <laughs> at least, least half. half. Yeah. There's 24 servings in here. Oh. 1,800. Calories. Wow, 1800 just with the in, in half of this bottle. Using an alternative would be doing a coleslaw in a vinaigrette. Using vinegar, maybe Greek yogurt, stevia, making a salad dressing like that, like my fake mayonnaise that I use. This is 60 calories. It's Greek yogurt dressing? But it still is five grams of fat, only a gram of protein. So even though it's a little bit better than ranch, obviously it is 60 calories as opposed to regular ranch, which is 140. So it's a much better option. Mm -hmm. It's still not as good as you making your own with fat-free Greek yogurt and some seasoning. This really isn't bad. The mix in and of itself is five calories per two tablespoons. If you mix this with Greek yogurt, then you have a decent, healthy, protein-rich dip for vegetables. The That's seasoning's not the favorite. problem. It's what you're putting with the seasoning. Yeah. Good, healthy fat is another thing. But again, too much of a good thing is still too much. <laughs> too much, yeah. I think you can have a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt for 120 calories, and, a full cup. And it's 20 grams of protein. Yes. So your calories are coming from a good source. 
not crappy fat and not sugar. So that's the key is figuring out where the calories are coming from. Calories come from either protein, fat, or carbohydrates. There are good fats, there are good carbohydrates, and all protein is good. It's deciphering how much of each of those things is where your calories are coming from. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Meat. Meat. Protein. Meat. Speaking of protein. Speaking of protein. <laughs> Protein. We're gonna top turkey in the turkey. <laughs> Ground turkey. I eat a ton of it. It's or chicken, whatever. I mean, but this is a better option than ground beef. Four ounces is your standard protein serving size. It's always gonna be four ounces. Four ounces of this turkey, 93% lean, 7% fat. Okay? 170 calories, 8 grams of fat, 21 grams of protein. That's good. If you buy the little bit cheaper, 220. Oh, wow. So 50 calories more, mm -hmm. one gram less, you're, you're paying for that in your fat. Eggs are inexpensive, extremely healthy. It's 
especially the white. The yolks are bad. The fat that's in the yolk is healthy, but too much of that, again, leads too to much excess nice. calories. When you're dealing with lean ground turkey, eggs are your go-to for a binding agent, and they add moisture into the turkey. Which, we're heading to the uh, dairy department next, Good so... Dairy. <laughs>
one cup of that yogurt or three quarters with 17 grams of protein and 100 mm -hmm. calories and no fat, you could have had three of those for the calories in replace of this. Amazing. Protein sustains you. Mm -hmm. Carbohydrates usually go fast, especially <laughs> especially low quality carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. They process fast, they make your insulin raise, that's why they're no good. Mm -hmm. Unless you are running a race, which I'm not, you're not, oh, and no. you're not. Most people are not running races. We don't true. need to carb load to live daily life. That's true. <laughs> Very because true. Because then we ass load. <laughs> these yes. are smart ones. Oh are God. they so smart? Okay, so these smart ones, another thing. This is only $1.67. You cannot be getting decent nutrition for $1.67. This has 560 milligrams of sodium. Ooh. That is one thing I wanted to talk about is the sodium. There's also 37 grams of carbohydrates and only eight grams of protein. This is a really crappy option mm -hmm. because there's nothing really that valuable in terms of nutrition in here. It's wasting your calories. Mm -hmm. It's like wasting your money. It's stupid. <laughs> so don't do it. Eat things that are high in nutrition high in protein that are sustain you throughout the day is the only way you're going to be able to cut down on your intake and still be full and still be healthy this is you're staring me in the face i want to oh. talk about this for one minute we're talking about crappy calories now normally someone on a diet would never eat this but you're going to be like mm, it won't hurt i just go off for a little bit this is one tablespoon it's 45 calories there's no fat no protein. There's nothing in here but sugar. sugar. First ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. Second ingredient, regular corn syrup. <laughs> then water. <laughs> so it. you're just pouring not even decent sugar. Mm -hmm. If you're going to eat sugar and you want something, at least fruit is a natural occurring. High fructose corn syrup is the worst. It's like putting poison in your body. Sludge. Just... <laughs> At all costs, try and avoid it. Just do not buy anything that has it in it, and you're already a lot further ahead. <laughs> sugar. Filtered water, sugar. At least there's no corn syrup, but still, it's filtered water, sugar. Well, because oh, they're there's... advertising it has 50% less Because sugar. there's stevia in here. Stevia. They're starting oh. to sweeten it with stevia, which is mm -hmm. way better than corn syrup. Don't go to Pops, yes. <laughs> so Pops, okay. Terrible. There's a whole new wave of healthy ice cream. Some of it you might as well just throw in the trash. It tastes terrible. And I've tried a whole <laughs> bunch, and most of them taste terrible. I'd rather just not eat it. It's well. The one that I really like personally in terms of flavor and texture, Halo Top is probably the best. So when they give you these big numbers on the front, this is for the whole container of this stuff. So that's not bad. There's four servings in here, which really, if you sit, I mean, I don't put it in a bowl because I'm a hog. So I will <laughs> open this and just start eating it with a spoon. But I usually eat about to here, a quarter, and then mm -hmm. a quarter of this is only 70 calories. The other nice thing about this, two grams of fat, five grams of protein, and it's only got six grams of sugar. This is more protein based, more like a frozen shake, mm -hmm. which that's a whole nother level of making your own protein ice cream. Like to do a video on making. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, these are a really good option. Um, another little key to eating this successfully <laughs> is to let it sit out a little bit. Yes. It makes it much better. Oh, yes. Yes. You'll, you'll, it's too hard. You can go and, bing, 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 bing. And you know me, when you, and you probably, when we open it, I want it right now. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to let it sit out. No. So I no. will dig with a spoon and give myself a blister well, to a, try and get the ice cream. There's the workout. Yes. <laughs> yes. So let your ice cream sit a little bit. My favorite flavor is the mint at the bottom. Oh, you like the, the chocolate yes. chip. There's a lot of good flavors, and there's some crappy ones, but whatever is your favorite. Yeah. But they're trying to convince you that this is a good way to get it. Yes. Well, the healthy. problem is, this container is 470 calories, Ooh. as opposed to that container of the same size. It's 280. So yeah. if you need probiotics, go get a pill. Don't eat this. <laughs> they put it in here with the healthy. So you'll grab it. But you really got to read what you're buying. 
don't just buy it because it's in this section of other healthy stuff. The labels on the front, very obviously, very misleading. So it's 150 calories. You're thinking for that whole thing, and it's, it's yeah. 600. <laughs> This has almost 900 calories for this container. Just so you know. 900. You're not going to be fitting in your pants. <laughs> this is no good. You're never going to reach any goal eating these kind of things. You just can't. Don't. No. Cheat with that. Cheat with the halo. Yeah. Okay, so Chrissy had a run. She had a, another person to train. So I thank her so much for imparting all those great words of wisdom to help us get through a grocery trip. I hope you enjoyed this weight loss vlog. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and poke that like button below. And if you're new to my channel, give that subscribe button a poke as well and become part of this weight loss and organizing family. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ911. I'll see you next week.